guys, welcome back for more Broken Age. Uh, still have no idea what's going on. We're right where we left off. I'm gonna continue exploring and see what's going on. Huh. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Um, it looks like a weird little screwdriver. Can I use this? It works. Hmm. Why would you throw it away after you use it one time? How do you know you're not going to need it again, stupid? Uh, is there a pillow? Is that what that What's is? This? It looks like an inflatable raft. A raft? Okay. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Uh... Okay. I guess I'm not supposed to go down there. Maybe not yet. Or maybe I have to like use an item down there. I think I should open it first. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look. It's another grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean my collection. Nah. Ah, uh, why would I do that again? At least you can skip stuff. Um, use the raft down the hole. No! Stop going down the hole. I'm trying to use items with the hole. I don't think that needs any air. Okay, can I leave the room? <sighs> Can I put the raft in the bed and make ooh ooh air on raft? I'm smarticles. Whoa! It looks like a blow up doll of me. Creepy. That is pretty creepy. Um. But I guess I can put it in the bed. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Hey, how am I on the bed and over here at the same? Oh yeah, that's just a blow-up doll. Woo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that mean I can leave the room now? Negative. This door is locked. Uh, I guess I'm going down the air vent. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. I'm so confused as to what's going on. Computers are stupid. Computers are not stupid. They're only as stupid as the people who program them. Who is this? Why is there a random wolf man? Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek. And what I'm about Marek from Yu-Gi-Oh is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. I don't trust this guy. He's super shifty. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. 
This ship is programmed with one function, to keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cop, we don't have much time. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cob. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protected. Can I go back to my room? Okay. I'm so confused who this guy is and why he's telling me to do all this shit. Maybe he's trying to trick me into doing something. Can I go through the door instead? This door is locked. This is a stealth mission, not safe to use the hallways, understand? Excuse me, Merrick, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the space weaver right now. The space weaver. Master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Negative. This door is locked. Where are we? Same place as always. The center of the universe. The center of the universe. Aha! Okay. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Where are we? Same place as always. The center of the Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be lit to serve your passage. I want to go down here first. Is this where the portal opens up after I give him the star I chart? The space weaver a star chart. He'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Nav scarf. That is cool. Okay. I guess I'll give him the chart. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? With pleasure. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spin the Vis viscosity. Looks like the Two. Space Weaver has encoded the star chart One. into a graph of me. That's pretty cool. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe. And free of conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be made to serve your passage. It does look like a talon. This is pretty cool. Okay, where else should we go?
I guess we'll go back and talk to Merrick. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <sighs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shield. <coughs> Uh, big green button. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Then okay. I got it. Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cop. This now is super sketchy. Quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Careful. Please tell me I'm not bringing in like horrible monsters or something hostile forces have been detected nearby they're coming in our direction we need to retreat not yet there's still one more to save no time we have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed no you didn't tell me i'd have to pick who lived and died you want to be a grown up get used to making tough decisions no time to mourn there's another distress signal this one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. What is going on? Please tell me I didn't just like pick up a bunch of monsters out of space and put them on my ship. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Excuse me, Merrick, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Not over. Looks like the Space Weaver has encoded the star chart into a graph of units and souls. Can I skip this, please? I bet these aren't even real places either. I bet this is just the computer messing with us again. I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. Take a look at this. Careful. Securing subject in cargo hold. Don't wait forever, though. Great work! Don't worry, she won't detect our moving the ship. I've covered our tracks very well. Good, but hurry, we're running out of time. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, 
Enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no... Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need what? to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer... Is this guy, in, like, in a wolf costume, or is he just, like, an anthropomorphic wolf or something? As soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Okay. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Can't sleep. On a mission. Ship under attack. Everything's fine. What's up with the him being super shifty back there? I tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. Ship under attack, everything's fine. Young cop, you must come see me right away. Another distress signal has arrived. Well, you're half right. I'm gonna go out here first. Cause that's not super creepy. Open. Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Okay. Well, d I'm pretty sure I don't want to go to the kitchen, but let's go to the kitchen. Maybe there's something in here I need to get. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. I got a knife. Does it talk to? These are just props. She would never let me do my own cooking. Too dangerous. Emergency rations only. Emergency rations? I think that's overreacting. Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Don't you have anything else to do? Just. Why am I wasting time in this kitchen when I could be out in space? Not going back in there if I can help it. Well, I got a knife, so at least I didn't need to come here for something. What's in here? Bathroom? Uh, nope. Tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. Yes, please tell me a story. Another person your age, a young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a <gasps> Is it Ella or whatever her name is? 
But what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Is she the other chick that I get to play as? That is so cool. That would be so meta. I would love this game even more if that was true. What's in here? Ah, okay, so that leads to here. So at least that door is unlocked now. What is this weird ass thing? Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the yarn pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could make you some new friends. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying, so we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. So, you've never seen a strange wolf? around son i can't keep track of all your yarn pals oh are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend well, i've never knit a wolf before but it should be no problem so what does dad do during the day oh your father has a lot of work to do outside you know fixing the hull scraping off space parasites keeping a lookout for new planets to live on this is so weird well, i gotta get back to taking over the ship <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. What the hell is that thing dancing on my desk? Yes, my love. Well, I gotta get. Okay, where do these doors go? One of them has to go to the bathroom. The Hall of Heroes? Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Hey, my... my head. What's wrong? My head is... smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics, duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> this is so weird. I never want to see another train as long as I wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remit wish she'd get rid of these? My paper mache is so much better than that now. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah. My first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. Okay. That should be for acting. Acting like I can't. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. What are these? That's what I want to know. Okay, so I got a. I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope that should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stu. Where does this take me? Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. I want to go to the other rooms.
Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Oh, this is the best part of my day. The Nexus? Hey, my head's back to normal size. That's because you followed the rules and went back through the proper teleporter. Can I, like, go back through Merrick's room and come back here and, like, screw up my entire body? Teleporter, activate. This way to the Fusion Ore Containment Facility. There no time. There you are. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. My head is smaller, but still not small enough to fit into this helmet. Ah. See what I was thinking there? Maybe if I go through the wrong teleporter, like back through uh Merrick's room instead of through the Here we go. Here we go. Come again. So where is this? Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Hmm. Call it. Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab trash. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. I don't want to throw that away. Also, I can't. The trash chute can only be opened by that little sweeper guy. This is huge! This, this game is huge! Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Okay, so that's where that door comes out. But I want to go back here. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. <laughs> okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. Okay, maybe now I can put the helmet on. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Only I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a rip off. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet. Okay. Teleporter. Activate. Oh, this is the best part of my day. So I have to figure out how to get through the third teleporter. And back to that room again. Oh, this is the best part of my day. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Please. I don't want to talk to you yet. Okay, and this takes me back to my bedroom.
Alright, so I've been in all three now. I think that's all my head can take. You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. Now I have a small enough head to wear the helmet. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Once we finish up this room, I'm probably going to. But I think it will work. I'm not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell. Okay. Now what do I need from here? That fusion room powers the ship shields, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. That fusion room powers the ship shields. Which is critical, because we get it. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. That fusion warp powers the ship. Gotta keep this thing on ice so it doesn't cause a meltdown, I guess. That fusion warp gotta keep this thing on ice. So okay, so I just did all that for nothing. Now I have to go through. Is it gonna take the helmet? No. Of course not. Okay. Well, at least I figured out how to Teleporter. Activate. do that when I actually need to do that. Alright, well, I'm going to cut this episode here, guys. We're going to start it up in the next one. I still have no idea what's going on in this game. All I know is Merrick's up to something and the computer is crazy overprotective, so... Gonna go ahead and leave this one here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.